Hi, this is Don from Don's Family Vacation, and this is five things not to do on a cruise. Number one, don't stay in your room. Staterooms on a cruise ship can already be fairly small. Add on multiple people staying in the same stateroom and it could feel like you're spending your entire vacation in a broom closet. Cruise ships are huge and have tons of things to do, so get out, explore the ship, and explore the destinations at the port. Number two, don't be late getting back to the ship. Many vacationers believe that since they paid for their vacation, the cruise ships are obligated to wait for them until they board. However, cruise ships have destinations to get to and schedules to keep. A cruise ship captain will not delay the vacation of 5,000 passengers because you decided to do an extra two hours shopping. And trust me, you don't want to be staring at the game playing being pulled up and the ship pulling away while you're standing on the dock. Besides ruining your vacation, all expenses from that moment on to get back to the ship are all yours. If you're supposed to be back by 5, plan to be back around 4 o'clock to make sure that nothing happens and you don't end up getting stuck. No! Number 3. Don't overeat. Cruise ships offer a wide variety of restaurants and food choices and majority of it is included in the price of your cruise. And a little indulging is good, but too much eating can lead to consequences. Kawabunga! And just like at home, too much overeating can make you feel full and lazy. It can also make you feel like you're going to be sick, and in some cases, you can get sick. So watch what you eat so you can enjoy all the amenities that cruise ships have to offer. Number four, don't ignore the cruise staff. Hey, hey, wait a second. Hey, hello? <laughs> the staff on a cruise ship work very hard to make sure you have a great vacation. In some cases, that means working 12 to 14 hours a day for less than minimum wage. So if you have a cruise member that's doing a particularly good job, please leave them a tip, as they can be the difference between a horrible and a fantastic vacation. Number five, relax. Let's face it, we already have enough stress in our lives between our jobs, our kids, our bills, taxes, governments, politics, you name it. It can all be overwhelming sometimes, to the point where you feel your life is just one big three ring circus. So yes, cruise ships have a wide variety of itineraries, things to do, lots of things to keep you busy. Just make sure to find some time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. After all, isn't that why you're on vacation in the first place? Oh. Hi, I'm Don from Don's Family Vacations and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos about vacation destinations or travel trips, please click the subscribe button. Until then, have a good day and a great vacation.